Looks like someone laid a piece of pipe here. Sounds like the purification party is going on somewhere behind this door. I see you're back again. This is getting old. This door looks like it probably opens from the other side. I'd say my situation qualifies as an emergency. stasis room. Maybe I'll find Sleeping Beauty in there. As I enter the stasis room, I feel like I've stepped into a fairy tale. I'm no Prince Charming, but there's a Sleeping Beauty lying peacefully in a cryonic chamber. It's Ava Shanzi. Boy, do I need to talk to her. As I look around, I spot a console nearby. Looking it over, I figure it must be used to control the cryonic sleep state. If I can resuscitate Ava, maybe we can still stop the cult. I've seen consoles like this before. The four buttons along the top must administer injections. The two slider controls look like they regulate the air temperature and oxygen level inside the cryonic tube. I seem to remember that slider mechanisms like these are really sensitive and need to be moved slowly. Well, first things first. I'll need to turn this thing on. That yellow warning light doesn't look good. Maybe I should move the slider back to where it was and try again. Aha! A red light went off in one of those phase one boxes. I must have done something right. Now I've got to get those other boxes to light up. So, is it all over? Are your prophecies taken care of? Look, prophecies aren't my job description, okay? I'm just a humble P.I. trying to save the world as we know it. Well, if you're not in the cult, then what are you doing here? Look, I think we're running out of time here, but my name's Tex Murphy. I know you're Ava Shanzi because I followed your trail from the Colonel to GRS to up here. So why don't you tell me how you ended up getting freeze-dried? Percival has a thing for me, so he decided not to have me killed. Instead, he put me into stasis to keep me out of the way until after the purification. 
Well, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is the purification won't start for about 45 minutes. The bad news is we've only got 45 minutes to stop these people. Luckily, I've got the winner chip, but you need to tell me how to use it. Well, how did you get it? Listen, there's no time for explanations now. We have to hurry. Take this. There are instructions on what to do with the winter chip. When you get into position, wait for my signal. In exactly 30 minutes, I'm going to create a power surge. That will give us our last chance to stop the cult. That note also has instructions on how to reach the escape pods. I'll wait until the last second, but hurry. And listen, Murphy, good luck. If we get out of here, you can tell me your story. So, this is the door to the observatory. Sounds like a place worth looking into. Those asteroids look like they're following the moon child around like big stone puppies. Cocktail glass with a ceranite flex straw. The cocktail glass is worthless, but I love flex straws. What a great tree. If I get off this godforsaken pleasure satellite, I'm taking it with me. It'd look great in my office. This floor panel looks like it's removable. I'll need something to pry it up with. This floor panel looks like it's re Looks like one of these computer cables ought to do the trick. Panel door is locked. Lynx 986. Uh, looks like some sort of croquet software. Aha! This must be the mini computer. This looks like an old-fashioned telephone jack. No, it's a recessed button. I'll need something to reach in. Aha! This panel should give me access to the Moonchild's main computer. Hold on, everybody, because it's going to be a bumpy ride.
It's been almost 30 minutes. If they didn't find Ava, she should be creating a power surge any second. That'll give me time to patch the mini-computer into the Moonchild main computer. Now I've got to get to the engineering corridors. And fast.